Oh, here we go. Good afternoon. We're back. Okay, all right, a little bit of Phil Collins here this afternoon. Love Phil Collins, freaking right. And the light's off for now, but since the carbon cleaning didn't work, it will come back on at some point. I don't know how long it'll take to come on. In a couple of my videos, it was brought to my attention, as I already knew, that uh, this thing never warms up. The engine temperature gauge never goes past that first blue dot there. Um, so I asked about that, and it turns out he was going to tell me about it. I didn't have to ask, but it is uh, one of two things. It could be both, but we're going to try the first thing first, um, which is the, uh, there's a water pump that makes the residual heat function work, and I've noticed that that's never worked. I just figured it was a bad switch or something. Uh, the residual heat function is if you stop your car sometime, the engine's warm, and you still want the heat to work, you can press this rest button over here, and it'll just keep cycling stuff through um, the heating element and keep putting warm, ar warm, warm air in the car for about 15 minutes. So we're going to try that water pump. 600 bucks. I'm coming back Thursday at 2. Um, and if that doesn't work, it's going to be a thermostat, which is 700. And uh, then I, that would be pushed off in the next week sometime. So still dicked, but after that, then it's done aside from... It's done as much as I'm going to do to it, because I'm not pulling the engine for 8 grand and having them uh, do the carbon manually. It's not even worth it. Uh, I don't think the camera's gonna pick it up, but we have got a beautiful sunset out here. Uh, it is 5.07 p.m. and the sun's setting, but uh, we're past the shortest day of the year was, what, December 21st, and then we're gonna break even again March 21st, and then the longest day of the year is June 21st, so we are well on our way. Well, two weeks on our way, two, three weeks on our way to uh, spring, which is March 21st, but that looks nice. Yeah, so, so far, so good. We've got no lights on. The check engine light, service engine soon light is on down there. Um, so that's, that's good. I think it's always going to come on on a cold start. And by cold start, it means sitting overnight, which is annoying. It'll be on once a day. But uh, if ever we're going to take a long drive, I don't want to look at it. I can just reset it in two seconds. Um, I, th I think I said before, I'm going back in Thursday at 2 to have a water pump installed. And then, if that doesn't do it, the thermostat. Water pump's 550. The thermostat is 650 uh, plus tax. There's an Audi R8 that I just saw go by up there. This is the Ohio Turnpike I'm going under, Route 80. I'm surprised I could tell what it was from there. Anyways, I'm headed into town to, one, get gas, two, uh, drop off some papers at my grandparents' house while I'm out. And uh, he told me to put some miles on and just drive it and see what, if anything else, probably not anything else, of course, the water pump issue, um, see if anything else comes back for fault codes. So, good so far. Yeah! Well, I didn't film it, but I just dropped 50 bucks of gas in it, which was three quarters of a tank. Premium here right now, or they call it V-Power. I always buy it Shell because it's the only gas station I found that offers the highest octane fuel around here, which is 93 octane. All the other ones are 91, so I burn Shell 93, known as V-Power, which is 364.9 a gallon. Fun facts, let me know where gas is a gallon where you are. Well, good to know the gas mileage is doing even better now. That's city driving. 29.4, but I am breaking what they told me to do and I haven't pushed it one bit in the past hour. Um, on the way home a little bit, I got to 60 quicker than I normally do, which felt really good. It feels like it has more power with the spark plugs. Uh, it took second gear to about 5,000 RPM and that was about 58 miles an hour. Um, yeah, so we're at 29 and a half miles to the gallon around city. Um, I am going to try to do what they said and drive it a little harder off the line, maybe. Of course, with weather and traffic conditions permitting, hopefully that'll help keep the carbon out of there. Also, the, once, once the engine is running at operating temperature full time, that will also greatly aid uh, the carbon not getting built up too much. Okay, I'm watching Microsoft Live at CES in Las Vegas. Um, it's no Apple quality presentation, but it's good. And um, I, it's interesting to see Windows Phone, 8, Windows Phone 7 and Windows 8, and then talk about the Metro UI, which from my experiences, I hate. Um, but maybe I need to use it again, and I'll give it a chance. But it's pretty interesting. They're going over some new PC hardware now. 
Uh, I haven't seen anything that rivals, um, um, well, but it is exciting to see what the future holds for what most people will be buying. Um, so that's it for today. I'm going to wrap this up now. It's about 10 o'clock, and I'll talk to you tomorrow on Tuesday. Good night.